Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where as always today we are going to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart together and I'm going to be going over the next really important levels and pattern to be aware of right now and the potential fake out of the great pattern um, and that's what we're going to be going through today. I'm going to keep this one short, sweet and professional for you giving the information that you absolutely need right now. So without further said ado ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what we love and of course that is here trading Bitcoin. So I'm going to always say it with no technical analysis. We have no idea what's happening on the chart and we'll be looking at this as an absolute total gamble. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to add back on our technical analysis. This is what I have prepared for you earlier and uh, we can start to see exactly what's happening now on the Bitcoin chart. Right. So that monthly that monthly NPOC that we had down here clearly acting as support. It's like I was saying in my champions live stream last night. We come down next candle straight back above wick 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 one candle down, the next candle straight back above. So we're at the moment not getting any consecutive closes below 19,700. It's clearly our support for the time being. And what this has done is every time we've come down to this level, we've got a bounce. We've got a bounce. We've got a bounce. We've got a bounce. What's happening with these bounces? They are at the moment lower highs, lower highs, lower highs and lower highs. So this is giving this uh, giving us this type of either symmetrical slash descending triangle. OK, because these are officially higher lows coming in here. These last three here, we're looking at higher lows. These last four, we're looking at lower highs. So we could be referred to this as a symmetrical slash descending triangle. One would expect generally for this to break to the downside for continuation, right? I think that's what the general perspective would be continuation to the downside. I'm not this type of trader that's just going to see a pattern and say, hey, this has to continue to the downside, right? Because it's got a, uh, you know, it's got a 60% chance of breaking down. Well, that's, that for me is 60%. What about the other 40%? So let's be aware of the scenario of what I'm going to be referring to as the great fake out. What is a great fake out, ladies and gentlemen? It's when everybody in the world is watching the exact same pattern. I think everybody's aware of, oh my God, it's a triangle, right? Oh my God. Um, you know, for, for me, it's like, OK, yeah, there's a triangle, but brilliant. But where, where can I counter trade this triangle? Right. So I'm never going to be looking to trade with this. Yeah, I can understand it has a 60 percent chance of playing out, but I don't care about this. I'm looking for to, to, to trade against the chat, the tr trade against the triangle. Right. So if it breaks to the downside, I'd be looking for my long positions. If it starts to break to the upside here. I'm going to be slightly cautious because yesterday, I had one short lined up and that was what I was telling to my team yesterday, looking for another move to the upside locally on Bitcoin, alerts and levels mentioned in tonight's Champions live stream. Obviously, it goes without saying, but I'm not looking to uh, long here just because I am looking for higher. It doesn't mean I would long. And, you know, going into the daily close, we actually had that alert go off. OK, so we had the move up to run the 20 high liquidity on the daily close. So that's what I mean by you have to be ready and waiting for these levels. And you can see there I was just basically had the alert set at just over $20,000 to run that psychological liquidity level. And in the end, that happened, as you can see here, right going into daily close. You actually come up, you take that high, you form some bearish divergences <clears throat> on the on the retest here. You can see this is a clearly a lower high that you start to have over 10 million new longs coming in here. Okay, You can see the open interest increase, really big bearish divergences that form, and you got another drop to the downside. Where did you drop back down to? Back down to test that NPOC. So locally for scope traders, you obviously had that short setup. But of course, you can be hitting that take profit one. Just want to emphasize that is for a day trader, scope traders, lower term time frame traders. That is an acceptable short trade. If you were prepared like we were for that, you see the rejection, you see, you know, <laughs> very big bearish divergences. You know, you, you can accept that there's a scope trade to be had there. I really think it's down to this NPOC because this is clearly the support that we're playing off of right now. OK, take profit one, stop loss to entry, see how this you know plays out over the coming few hours. Um, what I'd be looking for next then is either a subsequent another rise to the upsides. OK, you can see my next alert where this is set and we have then two levels above us or obviously a, 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 a move to the downside. So uh, basically, as you can see, I'm prepared and ready for this. I, I recognize the pattern. I know that I do not want to trade with this pattern. I know I want to try and counter trade the pattern. I know I'm going to be looking, e.g. just fade it, okay? If everybody's looking for the breakout, I'm looking for the short. If everybody's looking for the breakdown, I'm looking for the long, right? Doesn't mean I'm just going to ape into a position blindly. No, I will have my alerts go off or I will see one of the important levels that I've had marked out now for weeks tapped. I'll come over, check the order flow. 
What's the open interest doing? What's the delta doing? What's the CVD doing doing in here? You know, is this a high volume breakout? Is this a low volume breakout? This is how I'm determining, is this a fake out or is this in a real break? The only way you can determine that is live in the time reading the order flow. I'm telling you, there's no other way to be able to know at the moment whether it will be a fake out or a legit breakout. The only way we can know this is by coming over here and looking at the order flow. This is truly the only way we're going to be able to recognize the difference between a fake out and a breakout. So right now I'm there definitely aware of the large high probabilities of a fake out thus i am ready to short a break up and long a breakdown that means ready yeah with alerts when the alert goes off i will make an informed decision of yes or no in that time where i will come over check the order flow and make an informed decision of yes this is now the short I was ready and waiting for. I'm taking it or no, this is a good breakout. I'm not taking that short and I'll wait for the next level that I have marked out to the upside where I'll once again judge the reaction and make another informed decision based off of that level and the order flow once the level is tapped. Okay, so I think I'm approaching this in a very literally this is the way a professional trader approaches the market when they're coming in here every single day we're just coming in we're looking to make our money and we're looking to leave we have no under underlying biases in that regards we have no play on the fundamentals no we're coming in here we're trading our technicals we're making our money and we're leaving for the day to come back tomorrow and repeat the exact same process of making money on this market okay whether it's a range bound market whether we're just scope trading a few hundred dollars yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. There's money to be made in this market when we're going totally sideways, when the majority of market are bored. This is where your professionals can come in and extract money like a piece of cake. So that's what we're after. I hope that you're after that too. I've given you what I'm waiting for. I've given you the pattern that I'm looking to uh, fade or fake out. Again, if you want to learn more from myself and all of the team, remember, it's not just me. We have a whole professional team of traders alongside me giving you up their updates every day. Actually, we got another live stream coming up in 40 minutes time where George is coming out with his daily live stream. Tomorrow, you'll have Igor for another live stream. You'll have George as well for his, of course, his daily update. But we've got live stream laws coming at you left, right and center. If you want to learn the educational content, you can obviously come over to the new speed run section where you can get that five minute update on the course and if you want to read the whole course and understand that everything in more depth in more detail then we have the whole course of course designed for you here so yeah, if you want to learn more about order flow you want to learn more about trading come over and check out chartchampions.com for everybody else i'll see you over in the discord and well for everybody else just on youtube hope you've enjoyed this one thank you ever so much smash that like button and let's get ready to fade this pattern thank you ever so much everybody and yeah if you want my updates check over in discord cheers everybody have a brilliant day and i'll end with the announcement no financial advice just an entertainment educational video only hope i've educated with you the levels that i'm ready and waiting to paper demo trade so thanks everybody have a brilliant day and goodbye cheers